Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to play Nintendo 3DS games on your PC using the Citra emulator. For those of you who don't know, Citra is a Nintendo 3DS emulator that runs on your computer or laptop, and it can definitely bring back nostalgia or let you enjoy your favorite 3DS games with improved graphics quality. Before installing, make sure your PC meets the minimum requirements. A 64-bit operating system, a processor with good single-core performance, at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a graphics card that supports OpenGL 4.6 or higher. For more details, you can check the image shown on screen. If your system is ready, the first step is to download the Citra emulator from citraemulator.com. Once you're on the homepage, just scroll down and click the download button. We will be taken to the download page. On this page, select Windows. After that, we will be directed to a new page. Scroll down, then under Latest Citra for Windows, click the download button. Once the download is complete, the next step is to extract the downloaded file. After extracting, open the folder and double-click on citraqt.xe. After the emulator is opened, we can add the game. However, before that, make sure the game you have is in 3DS format. Next, to add a game, double-click on the Citra emulator, then select the folder where your game is stored, and click Select Folder. After adding the games in Citra, before playing them, we need to configure the settings first by clicking Emulation and then selecting Configure. In the General section, specifically under UI, if you don't like the default look of the emulator, you can change the theme to Dark. In the System section, we can leave it as the default settings. Next, go to the Graphics section, specifically under Enhancements. Here, change the internal resolution from native to at least two times, or ideally, four times native for a clearer display. If your PC has higher specs than the recommended ones, you can even increase it to six times or higher, depending on your system's performance. For the Texture Filter option, you can choose Bicubic, but if your PC has higher specs than the recommended ones, you can go with Anime 4K for smoother and better visuals. Next, in the Advanced section, under Graphics API, you can choose either Vulkan or OpenGL. If one doesn't work well, try switching to the other until you find the most stable option for your system. In the Texture Sampling section, you can uncheck Enable VSync if the game you're playing feels stuttery or has input lag. This will help the performance run more smoothly. For the Audio section, there's no need to change anything. Just leave it at the default settings, as they're already good enough to use. Finally, in the Controller section, if you're planning to play with a keyboard, you don't need to set up any mapping since the keys are already configured. But if you want to use an external controller, such as an Xbox controller, first connect it to your PC via USB cable or Bluetooth. Once it's connected, you can manually map the buttons as you like. To save all the settings you've adjusted, simply click the OK button. This will save your configuration and get everything ready to use. While playing a game, 
If you don't like the current screen layout, you can easily change it. Just click on View, then select Screen Layout. From there, you can try each available layout until you find the one that feels most comfortable for you. Oh, and if you still experience frame drops while playing, you can increase the emulation speed. To do this, click Emulation and then select Configure. Under the General tab, go to Emulation Speed and raise it little by little until the game runs more smoothly. After that, don't forget to click OK to save your settings. this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next tutorial video.